Hello friends, welcome to the tutorial series of Python programming. In this tutorial, we will learn about while loop in Python. What is while loop in Python? The while loop in Python is used simply used to iterate over a block of code as long as the text expression or the condition is true. We generally use this loop when we don't know number of times it iterate before anything. Just like for while test expression body of while well, this is the syntax for while loop in this syntax um, test expression is check first the body of the loop is enter only if the text expression this test expression evaluates to true after one iteration the text expression again is checked again this is again check and the process continues until until the text expression evaluates to be false. In Python, body of this while uh, loop is determined through indentation. This is through this space, this one indentation. The body starts with the indentation and first on indented line marks the end. And first in on indented line, this one marks the end. Python interpret any non-zero values as true, non and zero are interpreted as false now let's have a look uh, have a look towards the example of while loop just like if i assign one variable n equal to 10 and if i another variable sum equal to 0 if i define another variable equal to 1 and this string while i is smaller than equal to n sum equal to sum plus i yeah i equal to i plus one yeah now just um, print the sum this sum is sum just have a look what it will do over here yeah you can see over here the sum is printed 5 over here yeah in the in this program the test expression will be true as long as our counter variable see this counter variable is less than or equal to n that um, that is 10 in our program and we need to increase the value uh, of the counter variable in body of the loop this is very important and mostly forgotten if failing to do so will result in the infinite loop just like if i try um just like if i do okay just have a look over here now just uh, try another example uh, if uh, what may uh, occur if any problem in while loop that we will try for infinite loop you know, just like if i assign the value of i equal to 5 and if i try for while i is more than a 5 until that print susan then this will occur an infinite loop you can see over here oh sorry okay sorry i have uh, written i'm just changing over here let's have a look for infinite loop yeah you can see over here the infinite loop occur here because the condition is satisfied and this condition will always be satisfied and this print solution will always be working over here now now let's uh, look towards more example let's read this one and then just assign value over here and if i do if x is smaller than 5 then print x and x plus equal to 1 you can see over here 
okay so we have what here what it will create oh. here no any output all right now let's try just by doing this one over here what it will do let's have a look over here yeah you can see over here it's printed the um the value from zero to four that is which is uh, smaller than five just if i try for three then you can see this you can see over here it will print three and four over here yeah this much for the while loop now a uh, while loop with else we will try while loop with else same uh, like a for loop uh, in else while loop has also same type of execution process now let's try with a simple example let's create one counter which is zero and while if counter is smaller than three then just print what to print over here just print inside loop and counter let's increase the counter by one in each execution then let's else try to print inside else yeah you can see over here what will execute okay see over here um, at uh, first phase second phase and third phase is executed inside loop and after it's uh, this uh, condition is not satisfied then it will move towards else if we uh, write 5 over here then you can have a look over here it will execute inside loop 5 times and then it goes out for it goes out for inside else over there now let's try for more example now let's have a look uh, for one better example if x equal to 0 and sum equal to 0 yeah you can have a look over here uh, for x is smaller than 10 we will do sum plus x and we will uh, in each iteration we will increase the value of x then if x equal to equal to 5 until the value of x will be 5 we will break the statement over there and just move for else operation yeah then we will print out we print out the sum the sum of for nine i n t v r s integers equal to equal to comma s and likewise printing yeah printing the sum of x that is the sum of x over here mm. value of x number is that is the final number s now you can have a look over here C see over here the sum of f first yeah here's print out the first um, the sum of first nine integer is you can see over here at first it uh, goes over here and it's some um, okay Sorry, the small problem here is here. This will be over here, not over there, and this one will be here, and this one will be here. Okay, okay, let's have a look over here. Yeah, you can see over here the sum of five number 
uh, that is from 1 to uh, 4 0 to 0 to 4 uh, is 10 and this much for the while loop in python we will bring more exercise in the uh, later video i will uh, create a playlist for lot of exercise of each and every portion of this condition while loop and other stuff that we have uh, worked in another playlist where uh, we will do lot of exercise in the, in the next video we will try we will uh, be doing break and continue in python thanks for watching the video hope you learned something from my video mm, thanks